Can I level with you? Just got back from the UK to Korea. I, I don't know what time it is. It feels like it's like four o'clock here. I think but it feels like four o'clock in the morning. I just I, I don't know where I am to be honest. I, I I will bring the energy for this. I will. I promise. But just, just give me a minute. Give me a minute. Yeah. What's going on people? We're back in Korea and we're back with Ellie Lux, the Air Max 1 beef and a broccoli. Let's go. So yeah, start with the box. Red and white Nike box, nothing to it. No point in showing you is there, but it's fine. As we say, as we always say, we're not here for the box, are we? So are we ready people? Are we ready? Boom! The Air Max 1 beef and broccoli. What are you saying about these bad boys? Are you having these bad boys? Yeah, not sure. So yeah, beef and broccoli. The Air Max 1 family, they finally got on board with the old beef and broccoli vibes. All right, I mean, beef and broccoli's been around for a while. Well, it's a Chinese dish, so it's been around for ages, hasn't it? But the colorway, the actual colorway's been around for a while, hasn't it? New Balance like it. I think there was a Jordan 9 with beef and broccoli. There's Timberlands, Timberlands, the city of New York. The city of New York and Timberland itself, they love beef and broccoli. But now the Air Max 1s, they're getting on the train as well. So let's have a look at them, yeah? Let's have it. So start with your midsole, yeah. Just normal standard. Black midsole, black rubber midsole. You've got your visible air unit. It's got like the broccoli colour in there. If you can see, it's got like the broccoli vibes in the air unit. But apart from that, it's just standard midsole, Air Max 1, black vibes. Outsole! Yeah, outsole, just plain black again, just black vibes all the way. But it's got that speckly vibe going on. Hopefully you can see it. It's not flat black. It's like a speckly vibe going on there. But you know, waffle pattern, Air Max 1 outsole, bosh. Uppers! Yeah, there's a mix of materials on the uppers. You've got a very, very shaggy deep suede on there, and that's going in your mid panels and around your mud guard as well, and at the back. It's like a light brown shaggy suede, and it is very deep and shaggy. Shall I stop saying deep and shaggy? Yeah, it's all right. Very, very hairy, deep suede, goes all the way along your mud guard, on your mid panels as well. It's like a sort of lightly brown deep suede. You've also got leather here. You've got leather. It's like a darker brown leather on the vamp, and also around your back panel. That's like a darker brown as well, but that's leather. It's leather on the back, leather on the vamp, and then the rest of it's like suede, but it's all a mixture of browns. It's like Lighty brown, dark brown. That's the beef fab, isn't it? We've gone for beef fabs there, and then your broccoli's on the rest of the shoe. Also, your back panel, if you can see, it's just a Nike swoosh with air. It doesn't say Nike Air, it's just the swoosh and the air. I'm not loving it, to be honest. I'm a traditionalist in it. I like how it is, but you know, I'm old and fuddy. It is what it is. You've also got leather on your swoosh as well. It's a green swoosh. It's a green leather swoosh, and that's all greeny broccoli out as well. And then you've also got green on your mud guard. It's like a mesh mud guard, and it's in that broccoli green again. So you've got green on your swoosh. Green on the old mud guard, the rest of it is brownie brownie for the beef. Your tongue is a mixture of both colours again. You've got the shimmy shimmy hair on the top, you've got your brown tongue and then your nice in that broccoli green. It's alright, I mean, not to shout home about for me, but it's fine. Your laces, yeah, your laces are a bit weird to me. It's sort of like this sort of, gives me sort of hiking vibes. Do you know what I mean? This whole shoe gives me like geography teacher vibes. It's that geography teacher who thinks he's schlick, it's one of them. I'm not feeling the laces that much. I mean, it goes quite well with the other colours. I see what they've done here, and it's sort of blackish, in it, to go with the mud guard and to go with your black swoosh on the back. I'm not loving the laces. And you don't get another set, you know. This is it. All you get is this one, so... I don't know. Maybe people will be swapping them out. I don't know. Brown? Broccoli? I don't know. Do I? I don't know. What do I know about laces? But... Yeah, I don't love the laces, to be honest. Your insole is in that broccoli green, and it just says Nike, and it's got a swoosh in there. There's nothing to it. It's very, very plain. Just a green insole. No else to it. Yeah, to me, they're just giving me geography teacher vibes, these. They're giving me, you know, university professor vibes who still wants to be down. It's just not for me. I think this shoe's going to be a bit of a Marmite shoe, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good one, Patrick. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm saying, seriously, this is going to be a Marmite shoe for me. I think some people are going to love them. They love the aesthetic. I can see the hipsters wearing it. I can see Shoreditch lot wearing it. I can see them getting down with it, but I think other people aren't going to like it. For me, as soon as I saw the colourway, I won't really have it. But, I mean, it's so early. I've got them early again, and I Korea's always getting the early looks in. So I thought I had to get them for you, but they aren't really doing the dance for me. But I think maybe it's one of them that's going to be very, very polarising. I know all shoes are polarising, aren't they? Some people like them, some people don't. But I think these really are going to be, you're either in this camp or you're in this camp. And I'm in the geography teacher, not really feeling them camp. I'm getting a bit chubby again, aren't I? I can see it. It's not good, is it? It's a Christmas weight, though. It's not my fault. I've been home in it. I ain't lost my Christmas weight yet. I will lose it, but I've just not lost a Christmas weight yet. 
Comfort, yeah, well I ain't had these on, have I? Because I don't think I'll be keeping them, I just wanted to bring you an early look. But, you know, I've got plenty of Air Max 1s in there, and I? Air Max 1s are comfortable. They'll last you, they'll do the job that you need them to do. If you're looking for a comfortable shoe and you like this colourway, yeah, go for it. Price! Now, yeah, again, these are 169000 again, so they're getting cheaper. Do you know what I mean? They are getting cheaper. They were about 15 quid cheaper than they used to be. So no complaints on the price, really. You can't moan, can you? I mean, well, you can moan, because it's still expensive. They're still expensive shoes. But you know what I'm saying? It's it's decent value for what it is. So, yeah, my overall thoughts. Yeah, they're just not for me. Do you know what I mean? I can see some people loving them. I've seen on Instagram, I've seen on a few of the Air Max 1 groups, some people are really digging them and they can't wait for them to come out, but... They're not really doing the dance for me. I think it's just the colourway. It don't work for me. I don't really like it. I don't like the black midsole. I don't like these old geography teacher laces. I'm just not feeling the colourway. But I think for certain people who could pull these off, they, they're going to go for them. Do you know what I mean? Because I reckon you can get some fits off in these. You've just got an art to dress. Unfortunately, I don't. So yeah, Beef and Broccoli Vibes, people. Beef and Broccoli Vibes. It's another early looking career. I can't even tell you when these come out. I don't know. I mean, the slates come out like spring, out this spring 2024. Just popped up here. They, were, they came out when I was actually in England. They came out on like the 28th of December or something here. It's just mad, isn't it? I know they're out in Japan and they're out in Korea, but the rest of the world, who knows? But keep your eye out. Do you know what I mean? You've got an early look now, so you can look carefully at these and then see if you want to buy them when they do pop up because they will come. Just keep your eyes peeled, yeah? They're not for me. They aren't for me. I can't lie. But... Geography teachers, history teachers, hipsters, you know what to do. Rains! Yeah, yeah, seven, yeah. Sorry, I know some people are going to like these and say that's too low, but I have to them the colour way, I'm not loving it. Do you know what I mean? They're just not for me. But I want to give you the early look, so I have done. But I can't give them more than that. Beef and broccoli? Yeah, not for me, yeah. I don't like vegetables, innit? Look at the state of me. Seven out of ten. Bosh! Cheers, my people. Thank you, as ever, for tuning in. Another early look. I tell you what, these early looks are going to keep coming and coming and coming. We've had a couple of weeks off. I've gone home. I've come back. I'm refreshed. I'm ready to go. And I tell you what, Nike Korea and Foot Locker Korea, they've been doing a madness while I've been away. The stuff that's coming in. Over the next couple of weeks, you are going to see some early looks, as you always do on my channel. Keep it locked on here. Locked? Locked? Keep it locked? Locked? But locked? What is this? Like... 2019. I'm sorry, everyone. All I can do is apologise, innit? Please like, please subscribe, please follow me on Instagram. I've not been on there a bit. It's been a bit sparse over Christmas because I've been too busy eating. But I'm back now. As I said, the air looks are going to keep coming and coming now over the next couple of weeks. So be over there. There'll be skits there. There'll be pictures there. Follow me and Patrick on Instagram. Although he doesn't do that much, really, to be honest. We're going to show you some close-up shots of these bad boys right now. So whenever they do arrive in America and UK, you can decide whether you're going to pick them up or not. Take it easy. Be safe, be happy. Thanks as ever from me and the big dog. Hmm. We're out.